This is a large, a very large theft that happened on Monday evening at a very high-end retailer in Kitsilano. Um, it was on a Monday evening uh, around 6.30 when two armed suspects armed with bear spray uh, walked into a um, high-end retailer on Arbutus near 4th Avenue. Uh, they deployed the bear spray and they stole over $25,000 in store merchandise. Uh, the suspects then fled in a taxi. A very uh, heads-up witness took a photo of this taxi and showed it to our officers who arrived on scene. Our officers were available or immediately able to um, locate the cab, which had one of the suspects in it. So we uh, made an arrest of that suspect. The second suspect then was um, arrested a short time after that in the downtown east side. So Anthony Britch, a 35-year-old man, is charged with theft assault and possession of a weapon for a dangerous purpose. Uh, he remains in custody until his next court appearance. The second suspect, Alana De Silva, 30-year-old woman, was charged with theft and she has been released uh, with court-imposed conditions. Any questions on this one? Anybody hurt with the bear spray? So uh, a security guard was uh, contaminated with the bear spray, so paramedics did uh, arrive on scene to help decontaminate him. Um, that's the extent of, of his injuries. There are two high-end retailers mm -hmm. on that corner. Are you able to say which one it was? It was the Arterix. Um, any damage to the store or anything like that? I don't believe so, no. And all the merchandise was recovered? That's right, store. yes. So um, when our officers located um, the two suspects, they were able to recover the merchandise. This was over $25,000 in store merchandise that was recovered that we were able to get back to uh, the store. What's the relationship between the two suspects? I, I don't know. The, and the taxi driver involved, is he or is that person being considered a, a victim? I don't believe so, like no. That? No. Are they being considered like an accessory or do you know like... Wait, no, wait. right now, no, we have two people charged and those are the two people who committed the robbery, uh, Anthony Birch and um, Alana De Silva. No, no video at this point. Just kind of going down that same line of questioning. Mm. If it, I guess for the tax drivers or Uber drivers out there, if somebody's committing a crime and they jump in the back of your vehicle, what are you supposed to do in that situation? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't place the focus on taxiers, Uber drivers. That's not what this is about. This is about uh, two suspects that um, stole a large amount of clothes and how we were able to, to get the clothes back with the help of a, a citizen. Uh, we've been talking about it for weeks. You've probably heard of Project Barco. That's sh uh, shoplifting, high-end shoplifting is a problem here in Vancouver and we, we are doing things things, uh, projects to help tackle that. So in this case, uh, these two people uh, called a taxi and by no means was a taxi involved in this. It's just their means of, of transportation. Right. I was thinking more like safety tips for the taxi drivers out there who may have criminals in the back. Totally. If anybody ever feels unsafe, whether you're in a taxi, you see something or you're the taxi driver, 100% call police all the time, full stop. How did he call when the suspect is behind you? Pardon me? When the suspect is behind you, um, how should they act? Like, I mean, if they call 911, they might get hurt, right? They would worry. Right. So, again, this. Uh, <sighs> If anybody does feel unsafe, we, of course, we want you to call police when you get to a safe, safe spot. So if you uh, are in a situation where you're not able to call police, when you get to a situation where you can call police, definitely get to a situation. I mean, get to, or call us. Uh, but again, this isn't um, this isn't about the taxi driver in this case. Uh, and to my knowledge, he had no knowledge that this incident happened. Is the VPD seeing an uptick in high-end retail effects? Yeah, so all of last year we um, conducted Project Barcode. We did four installments of that, which was um, targeting violent uh, shoplifting in the city of Vancouver, more notably in the north end of the city, uh, but it was happening all throughout the city. So we've done four installments of that project, uh, recovered um, thousands and thousands of dollars in store merchandise and and uh, hundreds of arrests in that. So that project is is something and projects like that were we're still are still ongoing. Um, but yes, we have have noticed an uptick in violent robbery just like in this case where weapons are used, bear spray, guns, imitation guns, hammers, batons, all of that. Thank you. Okay, thank you.